Thank you. Let us pray. Most gracious God, in a time of necessity and adventure, our forebears were shipwrecked on this uninhabited island in a time of great danger. By your grace, all came aboard safely ashore. In the following years, a colony and a civilization were established, and to that end, one of the first permanent structures to be built on the island of Bermuda was a house of worship on this site dedicated to your praise and glory. On this same site, the leaders of the island convened the first parliamentarian government 400 years ago. We gather here this day to commemorate that event. O Lord, our governor, bless the leaders of our land that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other peoples of the earth. And teach our people to rely on your strength to accept their responsibilities to their fellow citizens, that they may elect trustworthy leaders and make wise decisions for the well-being of our society, that we may serve you faithfully in our generation and honor your holy name as we move forward into a future filled with your grace and presence. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Madam President of the Senate, Senator John Dillis Wright, MBJP, Honorable Speaker of the House of Assembly, Dennis Lister, JPMP, members of the Cabinet, members of the legislator, Legislature, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a good morning and welcome to our UNESCO World Heritage Site, the town of St. George, a town where civilization began on our isle some 400 years ago following the shipwreck of the Sea Venture in 1609. I believe it is fitting that we are gathered here today as we mark another significant milestone, the 400th anniversary 
of the commencement of the Bermuda Legislature with the launch of these commemorative stamps. As the original seat of government and our original capital were housed here in our fine town. This year, although marked with anniversaries of great import, has also seen its share of strife with the onset of the global pandemic and the corresponding downturn in the economy. But the fact that we are all here is testament to the resilience and heritage of this fine town and our country as a whole. I encourage us all to remain steadfast and vigilant in our recovery. We are in this together. May you all have a most productive and prosperous remainder of the year in your respective roles and awesome responsibilities for the collective betterment of the people of our isles, of Bermuda and Summers Isles. To quote the Honorable Member of Constituency Number 1, Minister of National Security, Renee Mean, JP, MP, and I'm paraphrasing, St. George, where it all started. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. Thank you. <clears throat> get, get used to taking that off. Good morning, everyone. A little adjustment there. Okay. Good morning, and welcome to the stamp unveiling to commemorate the 400th anniversary of Bermuda's Assembly. I extend my warm welcome to the invited guests. The Mayor of St. George's, the Honorable George S. Durling III, the President of the Senate, the Honorable John Dillis Wright, the Minister for the Cabinet Office, the Honorable William Ferbert, the Area MPs, Minister Renee Ming, Minister Fogo, and I see MP Kim Swan out there as well. I see the Government Whip out there as well. And I also like to recognize the former members, Dame Jennifer and former Speaker Horton. Thank you for joining us this morning. Also, uh, Father Tom, thank you for giving us the opening prayer this morning. And thank you to the town crowd who started the proceedings, loudly alerting all near and far. If we all had your voice, we wouldn't need this mic, would we? Wouldn't be called a speaker. <laughs> okay. Good. This morning, the minister will read the proclamation and Madam President will give the vote of thanks to all who helped to make this launch successful. Again, good morning to you all. On behalf of all members of the legislature and the House of Assembly's 400th anniversary committee, it is my honor to open these proceedings with a few words on the history of our parliament, the fifth oldest in the world and the oldest Westminster style parliament in the Commonwealth outside of the British Isles. It, I'll also touch on uh, other anniversary activities aimed at making for a parliament that will continue to thrive as the formal setting for democracy in practice. With meaningful discourse among members of both the House and the, Sen and the Senate for the better governing of Bermuda and representation of the needs of Bermudians in this digital, even in this digital age. Following on the settling of Bermuda in 1609, then Governor Nathaniel Butler convened the very first sitting of a General Assembly on the 1st of August, 1620, right here in St. Peter's Church in the Old Town, the only public building that was large enough to accommodate its members at that time. The Assembly was later moved into the, cent into the State House sometime after its completion where it would sit from 1622 until 1815, when Bermuda's capital was moved to Hamilton. In the new capital, the assembly was temporar temporarily housed on the upper floor of the town hall building on Front Street from January 1815 to 1826, when it was finally settled into its new home at the Se Sessions House on top of Parliament Hill. The Sessions House remains the official site of Parliament to this day. Although the House and the Senate both currently sit in temporary chambers a short distance away at Veritas Place, while renovations are ongoing at the Sessions House. We stand here today against the figurative backdrop of a long and distinguished history of Bermuda's legislature and the physical setting of St. Peter's Church because of its incredibly significant role in the origin of parliamentary democracy in Bermuda. 
It is noteworthy that 400 years on, a direct connection to St. Peter still exists with us in the form of the speaker's gavel. The gavel has been used by myself and a great many of my predecessors to maintain a fair degree of order and decorum during the proceedings of the House of Assembly over the years. The gavel is made of Bermuda cedar, from a cedar tree which had grown in the churchyard of St. Peter's, and, is part, and part of that tree still remains at the rear of the church today. For this momentous occasion, celebrating the 400th anniversary of Bermuda's legislative system, the anniversary committee chose as a theme, Bermuda, Future Matters, in order to cause deliberate reflection, not only on our past, but also to give serious and determined thought about the kind of future that we envision for our country and our people. Today's Stamp Lodge symbolically heralds and commemorates those most significant milestones of Bermuda's legislature by depicting images associated with our assembly. Other programs and events are also being planned so that, so that as a country we can memorialize and honor this milestone. A youth parliament debate is planned for September. Our youth will be invited to participate in an art competition around the theme. And we began the year with a community discussion using our theme, Bermuda, Future Matters, to generate and encourage public dialogue between and dialogue. Uh, unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we were unable to host others. However, we have planned to hold a virtual for forum to further encourage public discourse. Finally, the activities commemorating this most significant milestone will conclude with a special convening of the legislature, which is planned for Friday, the 6th of November, here at St. Peter's Church, the original seat of Parliament and the town square of St. George's. It is my distinct pleasure to now invite the Honorable Wayne Furbert, Minister for the Cabinet Office, who is also responsible for the Bermuda Post Office, to read today's proclamation. Minister Furbert. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Proclamation Stamp Launch, 400th Anniversary of Bermuda's Assembly, August 6, 2020. Whereas on 1st August 1620, 400 years ago, 11 years after the founding of Bermuda Governor National, Nathaniel Butler summons a General Assembly to meet in the town of St. George's at the town church. And whereas the dollar fifteen stamp shows the entrance to St. Peter's Church built on this site, at the first legislative session, Governor Butler and his council gathered with two male representatives from each of Bermuda's eight tribes, the precursor to today's parishes. And whereas the General Assembly met with the governor and his council to discuss local problems, administrate justice, and to review legislation, which when finally agreed upon was sent to England for approval. And whereas throughout the 17th, 18th, 19th centuries, the General Assembly met frequently, the governor of his council met regularly. And whereas during the 17th and 18th centuries meeting was held in secret, this changed in 1784, once the Bermuda Gazette began printing a few columns on the General Assembly's business and who had attended. And whereas assembly members met at the State House in St. George's until 1815, when the capital of Bermuda changed to the city of Hamilton, with the physical move of Bermuda's legislature, the first gathering of the assembly in Hamilton took place in the town hall in Front Street on the 13th of January, 1815. And whereas in 1826, the assembly moved to the Sessions House, as seen on the 50 cent stamp, Session House is beautifully situated overlooking Hamilton Harbor on Parliament Hill. And whereas the mace used by the Speaker of the House is featured on the dollar 35 stem and is a symbol of the authority vested in the Speaker, the silver gilt mass was crafted in 1920 by Gerard and Company Limited in the United Kingdom to commemorate the 
300th anniversary of Bermuda's legislature. The mace is a necessary accompaniment to the proceedings of the House of Assembly, resting on brackets at the front of the clerk's table when the House is in session. And whereas the mace is carried on the sergeant's arm's right shoulder when the speaker attends the convening of Parliament, and when he enters and leaves the House of Assembly chamber, this practice mirrors a similar convention of the UK's House of Commons. And whereas the dollar 55 stem features the wooden gavel used by the Speaker of the House and was fashioned from the wood of a cedar tree that was growing in St. Peter's churchyard on the date of the first assembly meeting in 1620. And now, therefore, I, Wayne Ferbert, JP MP, Minister for the Cabinet Office today, 6th of August, 2020, do hereby declare the four stamps commemorating the 400th anniversary of Bermuda's Assembly launch. Thank you. I now turn over to this President. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And may I also acknowledge the ministers of government as well as the senators who are present here today. I am Joan Dillis Wright, the President of the Senate. It is my pleasure to stand here to give the closing thank yous to all who have worked hard to make the stamp launch a success. First, each of today's stamp launch participants in the order in which they spoke. The town crier, Mr. David Frith, Father Tom Slauson, the parish priest for St. Peter's Church, the mayor of St. George's, the right worshipful George S. Dowling III, the speaker of the house, the honorable Dennis Lister, JPMP, and the minister for the cabinet office, the honorable Wayne Ferbert, JPMP. I would also like to thank not only the, the mayor, but also the people of St. George's for the warm welcome and hospitality they have given to us. Without a doubt, we must recognize the acting Postmaster General, Susan Moore Williams and Idelia Fox and their team at the Bermuda Post Office, who made sure we had the first day covers in Bermuda on time, despite a global pandemic, which threatened to delay their arrival. And thank you also to the STEMS Advisory Committee. Several of the members have joined us today. Thanks go to the chairman of the Friends of St. Peter's Church, the Reverend Dr. Erskine Simmons, and committee member, Mrs. Gillian Outerbridge, for their support. I must also recognize the 400th anniversary committee who have been meeting since last year to begin planning events for this year's commemoration. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic stopped, delayed, revised, obliterated, redesigned, changed, or canceled plans for many organizations around the world. The committee's plans were no different. Today's event is indeed a testament to our commitment and dedication to acknowledge 400 years of the legislature in Bermuda, but it also is a place marker for the future. The work of the committee is doing now will become part of Bermuda's history. So when future generations look back on 2020, they will know the committee members did not let a little thing like a highly contagious, quickly spreading, life-changing coronavirus stop our activities. The activities have been modified and redesigned, yes, but stopped no way. As part of our anniversary events, I invite everyone here to join us in November when we will have the traditional convening of the legislature this year in St. George's. I will now give a little plug for the Bermuda Post Office. If you are interested in purchasing a first day cover, the cost is a mere $6.50. The stamp set itself is worth $4.55. Both are expected to be available at all post offices from today. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time and attendance today. Thank you.